Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy right here, Scott. MC Solos and Holy One. Listen to that life music, true music. Um, it's on YouTube. And uh, it's out there, man. Two time American Ninja Warrior, 82nd Airborne Veteran. Second of the five of the Parachute Infantry Regiment. Dad of two kids, raising those kids. Takes work. That's my greatest accomplishment in this life is bringing those kids up in the Lord. Also, that's just worldly things I said about me. And also, you know, is uh, but all that stuff I did by faith through the cross of Jesus Christ into my life is a testimony. It's to him the glory. Uh, I'm just the dude that who has faith in Jesus, who is the word from the beginning. And I'm going to share that with you. And I'm 41, almost 42. I'm getting ready to start the second quarter of my life. I want to run with the Lord the whole way and stay in line with Jesus because it's so vitally important. He really is life. It's not, life is in him and the light of men is in him. You know, I didn't never expect I'd be here doing this. It takes courage to follow the Holy Spirit and uh, you got to get out of your comfort zone if you're going to do something for the Lord. And uh, I'm very honored and I'm very thankful because I'm a fool. He's just so good to me. And he's instructed me in the way to go, and then I should share this with the world that's hurt. The world that uh, is looking to fill that void in their heart that you were born with because of sin. I'm talking to a guy that used to do everything that was bad. And he wiped my slate clean as far as the east is from the west. Right now, God sees me as Christ is without blemish, without spot. Because God is love and perfect love casts out of fear. Fear involves torment. And as he is, so am I in this world. According to 1 John, you must speak truth. You must, you must understand that this tongue is the most say powerful but it is it's, it's the key to life your tongue is the key to life your words are the key to life Proverbs 18 21 death and life are in the power of the tongue in the book of James he talks about the tongue the heart is control you got to go to Galatians 5 22 obtain the fruit of the spirit self-control you must depend upon God you must seek his wisdom the book of James says ask anyone who asks God of wisdom he'll give to anybody liberally without reproach he's gonna give you wisdom if you ask if you ask by just ask Okay? I've been asking for wisdom from the Lord for over a year and a half now, every day. And a year and a half. I mean, things are happening, but right now, in the past three, four weeks, things have happened very rapidly. And uh, three verses that came to my mind. Excuse me. Second Chronicles, Joel 2, 28, Acts 16 through 20. In the last days, your young men are going to see visions and prophesy. And, uh, the Lord's opened my eyes to see so much spirits. And, you know, excuse me, I'm gonna blow my nose. I'll be right back, y'all. I do have pollen and allergies, you know. And in this world, you have tribulations and you experience things in the world, you know. But um, Proverbs 4, man, his word is health to all flesh. Okay, uh, Psalms 103. Praise him. Bless the Lord on my soul and all that is within me. Forget not all his benefits. He heals all your diseases and forgives all your iniquities. Romans chapter 8. There is now, therefore, now no condemnation to those who are in Christ. To those who walk according to the Spirit, not according to the flesh. There's no condemnation. What the devil wants to do is hold condemnation over you and you. What he places in your mind is doubt, fear, anxiety worry, stress, gotta go, gotta go, gotta do this and this and this. There's still a small voice in the back of your head that says, hey, wait a minute, pray. Wait a minute, did you read your Bible? Wait a minute, it's not, 
He doesn't bark down at you. Revelation 3.20, Jesus is at the door of everybody. Everybody because of you. And Romans 5, amen, he came. And yet while we were still sinners, he died for us all. And many might be saved. Jesus is love. God is love. He is spirit. In the book of the Gospel of John, he says he's seeking those to worship him in spirit and truth. Those two things that the devil hates. Truth. That's God. And righteousness. That's God. And I'm telling you, right now, you've been made righteous. Romans 5. Check it out. You've been justified by your faith. You've been made righteous by the one man's obedience to the cross, even the death. That man is Jesus Christ. And you have been destined to reign in life. Ephesians. Get in there. Chapter 1. You have been blessed with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. Do you hear? This is alive. Hebrews 4.12. This word is alive and living. This is life. This is the key right here, man, to find out exactly who you are, why you were put on this earth, what your purpose is. You have all these questions. You're chasing things. There's something going on. You are wired and designed specifically by the Creator. You've been fearfully and wonderfully made in your mother's womb. That's amazing. Now, come on, guys. The Virgin Mary was born on some divine sperm by the Holy Ghost. Moses. He murdered. He murdered. The Egyptian. For 40 years, he had a pity party on the back of a mountain as a sheep herder. He had a stuttering problem. And the Lord came to him in a burning bush. He said, take off your sandal where you stand this holy ground. I've heard my people's cry, Israel, for 400 years. And I'm choosing you. Choosing, choosing you. You will go and deliver my people. I am the Lord. What, what, what? Not me, huh? Pick up that stick. That stick becomes a snake. Pick it up by the tail. Get a bite up by the head. He said, you gonna use this and put this down. You, you gonna use this. He used that same staff to part the Red Sea. The plagues came on the Egyptians. All of it. It's not far from us. Aside from that, man, let me tell you this. The devil is the greatest illusionist. He is so full of illusion. It's funny. <laughs> it's funny because I, I really am not afraid at all because I have the confidence in who I am, who I belong to, because the word says that I'm in Jesus' hands and Jesus is in God's hands. Nothing can snatch me out of God's hands. All things are possible to those who believe. Faith is the evidence of things hoped for yet not seen. Let's go to the back of man. Write the vision down, make it plain. Put it on some tablets and all so you can see it. All right, because when there's no vision, people perish, okay? Write it down, because this shall not tell. This will surely come to pass. What's the Lord working with you today? What do you got going on? Step everything aside. Everything else is a distraction. I'm telling you right now, the television, the sporting events, anything and everything, it doesn't mean nothing, man. It's fine to be enjoying entertainment and life if that's what you like that's cool but there is no life without Christ how you gonna tell me about a big bang have you ever seen anything good coming from an explosion no everything's destroyed so they won't say bang all this goodness came from an explosion what about matter it got so dense and poof right okay go home clear out your garage wait 30 40 years Wait for that Rolls Royce to roll in. Come on, guys. It's all a lie. From the father of lies, Satan himself, who got full of pride, doesn't want to have any accountability. That's the issue. And that's why we got these punk men out here making babies and not raising children. It takes time. It takes work. It takes diligence. Bring a child in the way that he should go. I'm telling you right now, it takes work. But if you get in that word, it's all right, man. God will reveal you, reveal things to you over and over. The Bible says in the book of James, count on joy. Man, I, used hate, I used to hate this. You know, this. Count on joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience, and let patience have its perfect, thing, work, perfect work in you. When you go through patience and things with the Lord, you look back to his word, Romans 8, 28, knowing that all things work together for the good of those who love God, those are called 
according to his purpose. So that patience helps you develop Christ-like characteristics. And like he says in the book of Peter, man, going from glory to glory, virtue, it's glory to glory. As you are put on this earth to become him, basically, because you're one body in Christ. Now, we all have different functions, different gifts that the Lord has given us for his kingdom. See, I, I, I know, I know, I know. And I'm walking in grace ground, I'm walking in light. I am the light of the world because the Holy Spirit dwells in me. I am the living temple of the living God. Which temple are you? You want to defile that temple? Change happened in my life, man. The past is the past. It doesn't even matter, man. I'm a reborn new creation. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Hold things pass away and behold all things become new and I am so thankful. It is the greatest, most precious thing to me and I really understand what we said in Acts 10, you know, when Peter and Paul are walking to the church and dude didn't have no legs and he like, hey, can you give me some money? And they said, man, what I got is more precious than gold and so I understand. Seek wisdom. She's more precious than anything. Heavenly wisdom from above, not earthly wisdom. It is amazing if you have your ears open to the Holy Spirit and listen. Wait for instructions. It's hard to wait, but it shows the reverence to God. It shows that it shows that He's in control, and you know without a shadow of a doubt. No matter when you're in the circumstance, and it's hard, the wife's yelling at you, and she's saying all these lies, and then not pray. Philippians 4, 6, and 7, be anxious for nothing, man, but everything with prayer, supplication, and thanksgiving, that you request be made unto God. The peace of God was, surpasses all understanding, man. All this human was, He guards your heart. He gives you peace through the storm. He directs your steps, guides you in the way you should go. I'm telling you right now, it's an amazing thing. There's a crown of life on my head right now, righteousness. The devil's all around me. He sees that. He is in this Mother Earth. He's in the illusion, but let's get to where I was here. I'm going to share this with you and I'm out. All right? Colossians chapter 1. If you have a Bible, go to Colossians chapter 1 real quick. I want to share something with you. That's it. I'm going, guys. Man, I really appreciate you all checking in today. I um, prayed before I came, man. It's my prayer that the Holy Spirit will be here. So, you know, to see you. It's the same thing. So, check this out. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, and Timothy, our brother, to the saints and faithful brother in Christ, who are in Colossae, with grace. To you, peace from our God and Father, your Lord Yahweh, Jesus Christ. We give thanks to God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, praying always for you, since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus, the authority, thank you, and of your love for all the saints, because of the hope which is laid up for you in heaven which you heard before in the word of truth of the gospel which has come to you as it has also in all the world and it is bringing forth fruit as it is also among you since the day you heard and knew the grace of God and truth Ephesians 2 8 for I have been saved by grace through faith not of works is the gift of God, lest any man should boast. I got no pride. I really do enjoy humbling myself under the mighty hand of God. He may exalt me in due time, and I give him all the glory. It's so cool, dude. It is the most coolest journey and adventure walking in the spirit with the Lord. It is amazing. Back to the word, yo. As you also learn from Epirus, our dear fellow servant, who is a faithful minister of Christ on the earth. We have, all right guys, check this out, man. Who declared to us in love, who declared to us your love in the spirit. For this reason, we also, since the day we heard of it, do not cease to pray for you and to ask that you may be filled the knowledge of his will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding. That's fire, y'all. That you may walk worthy of the Lord for fully pleasing him, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. 